Oh, let's stand and think 33 in response. We'll have the uh, off, uh, announcements and offering and closing. Let's just stand and sing 33. This will be a response. You may be seated, the announcements and then the offering. First, I want to praise the Lord for his help here this morning. Amen. That God would speak to us. Pray that our hearts can be receptive. God grant it. In the bulletin, there was an announcement about monies being due for the Holy Land. I want to clarify that. Those that have your monies would like to go ahead and turn those in if you can. The deadline is still August the 25th for the monies due for the Israel trip. Isn't it wonderful, Pastor Terry, that God's servant would turn to Scott Depot and say, you may have the extra days free because they cost. And I think that's because we've shown diligence to be faithful to try to do what Jesus is really calling the church to do. The primary thing that he's calling us to do, and that's to make the journey to Israel. Amen. And so what do we get? Now, not all can do it. You're going to come back with the... ...wants to come as invited. Come prepared to play. <laughs> Ushers, will you come forward to receive from <laughs> morning... Prepared to play. Hallelujah. Jack, if your mind's about the work thing, too. Okay. Want to remind those that are visiting with us that there's cards in front of you, visitors' cards. If you could fill those out and place them in the offering plate this morning, we'd appreciate it very much. Also, the All Church Work Day, Saturday, August the 26th, at 8 a.m. Your help is needed on this day as we prepare for our facilities for these important ministries of our church. Lunch will be provided that day. You might mention that. Rodney might explain why that is. 
why we need that. Well, each year we just need and appreciate your help so much in getting our facilities ready for our school. It's been through the summer and been used for other things, and your help is just needed as we try to get this building ready for our students in the fall, and we do appreciate it when you can be here. Praise the Lord. Let us give, elders. Father, we're grateful to be here today. The Hogs are, to, as well as the rest of thy people, to put in our tithes and offerings. This is great joy. It's great joy, Jesus, to be able to do it. Thank you for providing to this very hour. And thank you for meeting all of our needs. And thank you, Lord, for making a way for us to give more and more through the years. We want to thank you for the challenge of Carl and Blanche Roundtree who challenged us many years ago to think in terms of a lifetime of giving more than 50% of our income away, our cash income. So we're trusting the EGs. We haven't reached that plateau, but we're trusting that someday it could be that we could give more than half of our, our income away. What a challenge from the round trees. Hallelujah. Sanctify and bless this offering, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. How did you come to choose that just now, by God's grace? <laughs> well, that put the climax on the sermon. Yes. Oh. Oh. You mean we're going to have young people led of the Holy Ghost? Go forth from our presence or stay in our presence? May more stay than go. Except as Jesus leads. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. See, honey, that's so great. You are under an anointing. Yes, oh, is that an anointing of God? Yes. <laughs> you were in the first class in daycare, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Sure was. Mm -hmm. God's servant said it's time to start. Mm -hmm. And you were in the first class in the Thank first God. year. Now we hear the fruit of it by God's grace. All yeah. these years she played. Oh, since Sally B is so encouraged. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Tim told me the other night <clears throat> that in the state choral <clears throat> contest a couple of years ago, <clears throat> there were two people who got the top solo parts, whatever it was, Tim. And he, uh, all, all core, all county, it was him. <clears throat> Shelly. That's right. Right out of this little Christian school. 
two of the best, <clears throat> two, as far as that crowd was concerned, the best voices in the whole crowd were Tim's and Shelley's. Oh, bless God. Oh, holy Jesus. How wonderful, how great. <clears throat> I just wanted to take a moment to thank God because, see, I needed that. I needed that. that oh, I needed it. See, you just brought healing to my soul. Now, folks, <clears throat> when you feel conviction, thank God for it. Just remember, in Brother Helms' ministry, I've lived under conviction nearly day and night. About the time I think I'm ready to go, I get under him again. I said, Jesus, when did I fall back so far? And I heard, I heard Thomas England said, Brother, about the time I think I really got measured up, said I come into a wedding on God. I said, Lord, what happened to me? Where did I get off the track? <laughs> Well, that's the way holiness is. It's always beckoning us upward and onward. Don't be discouraged. Say, glory to God, I'm under conviction. There's a place to move up. Who in the world's arrived anyway? Hallelujah. Paul himself said he is striving for perfection. Praise the Lord. That was so beautiful. I want to sanctify it in Jesus' name. Elders, assemble yourself. Dad, you and Brother Morgan, come and be with me. I'm so blessed. Thank you. Crowd, would you, uh, congregation, would you arise? Got your review at noon already. Oh, oh, you praise the Lord. <laughs> Larry said, I'm reviewing at noon. All I got to do is remember it evening and go into bed. So who knows? This may be my great day. I, I'm, I might, on that count, live a perfect life today by God's grace and mercy. See, you know, I mean, it's good to smile and it's good to laugh about it. And that's what we're supposed to do because it's in order. But my friends, it's serious, isn't it? You see, we, we need a lot of help, <clears throat> and God's willing to help us. He's got all the help we need, and so just reach out and get it and keep going. God will, it takes a lifetime to make a saint out of most everybody. It really does. Even though we're saints at the point we're converted, to really be what God wants us to be and look like Jesus, it takes a lifetime. So keep marching, keep obeying, keep loving, and don't throw away your courage. Receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of his Holy Spirit. Amen.